Her wings are cut and then she is blamed for not knowing how to fly. A very thought provoking statement by Simon De Bauer, the author of the feminist classic The Second Sex. And today I'm going to give you the summary of this book. To start with the title The Second Sex. Sadly, we can easily understand that second sex refers to women. While this book was written back in 1949, even now we can easily relate the second sex to a particular gender which means that even now inequality exists in certain areas or fields her primary thesis is that men fundamentally oppress women by characterizing them on an entry level as other that is man occupies the role of the subject while woman the object or the other as a not self like master slave relationship and beyond all this she waits for him to save her that is since childhood we have been hearing stories wherein a girl waits for the prince to come and save her or even in today's movies we generally see that the female characters wait for the hero male character to come and save her since childhood it is being fed into a girl's brain that he will come and save you or it is being fed into a boy's brain that you are dominant and you need to save her because she cannot tackle things by herself and this is happening via evolution that is through generations man is stamped as essential and absolute while woman as inessential and incomplete there is one very famous statement in this book and that is one is not born but rather becomes a woman to explain it the sex is female but again she is being told to behave like a woman to act or to walk or to sit or to talk like a woman So basically the society defines gender or the cultural meaning as gender. So sex is anatomical while gender is a product of civilization. Now consider the toys that are generally offered to a girl child and a boy child. To a girl child generally dolls or miniature forms of kitchen accessories are being offered hence defining her future to be so to take care of the children or to be in the kitchen always. While for a boy child they are being offered the miniature forms of vehicles like cars and uh, bikes and weapons like guns which shows the future of a dominating power and this is happening since long like in the past so if we take history as well the word history is his story and not his and her story and even if we consider myths women are generally not the subject rather they are the supporting roles or are being generally channelized into motherhood or otherwise wife and not beyond that simanti bawa has scrutinized various male authors who have represented women in a very negative way she also claims that a woman's situation is not as a result of her character rather her character is as a result of her situations and that if a woman can support herself she can achieve a form of liberation her subconscious mind over the generations in evolution has been yielded to be powerless or less powerful this work has two volumes the first one is facts and myths where she mentions how women are being positioned as a subordinate in the society and the second one is lived experience where she mentions the day to day sexism experienced by women It's quite a long book, 800 plus pages, and if you're looking for a light read, do not pick this book up because this is quite a deep, dense, educational book. I would say about feminism. So if you're looking for an insightful and informational book on feminism, then definitely go ahead and pick this book up. So that's the short summary of the book, The Second Sex. Until we meet next time, this is Nivya signing off. Keep reading a lot of books and happy reading. Bye.